Hello and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. I'm Dean Perrine of JSA, and we are coming to you live from just outside the Almira Ballroom in the Almira Foyer at the beautiful and the luxurious, even Grand Hyatt Dubai. And I am here with my new friend, Mr. Amit Somani. Amit is the CEO of at ABS Global. Amit, welcome to Capacity Middle East. Um, why don't, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about ABS Global? I'm sure. sorry, ABS, ABS Global. That's, that's actually ABS Global. Yeah, so that is it. ABS originally started in Asia, Asia Broadcast Satellite, but I think the name Global gives it away. We're now a global company. Uh -huh. So started in Asia, if you think about maybe 10, 15 years ago. But today we have coverage over five satellites all the way from Brazil, all the way across the Atlantic to EMEA into Asia and then all the way across the Pacific. So. If you consider that, we're truly a global company, but one of the smaller ones. So we're not quite the scale of the big boys out there, but we certainly have the coverage and the capacity and the uniqueness and the agility to uh, to play a big role in our industry. Yeah. You know, that might be the first time that I've heard someone say we're a global company, but not one of the big global companies, right. but still global nonetheless. Um, so, Emmett, why don't you tell our viewers a little Now, you're a relatively new CEO. Right. So why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, where you, where, where you came from, and, and, uh, and what's, uh, what's on the horizon for ABS Global? Sure. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, we talk about satellite as if it's something unique. But at the end, it, is, <laughs> it is purely a part of the communications ecosystem sure. that we have, right? It's either through fiber, you know, through, uh, through wireless or through the skies, right, through, through satellite. So we do complete the, tech, the communications ecosystem as a satellite company. My background was originally telecom. Mm -hmm. I moved into satellite around 13 years ago. Helped to help to build um, Yasat, which is one of the local players mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and took on this role about six months ago because I, I genuinely see ABS as a, a unique platform. Again, we talked about global, mm -hmm. we talked about the uniqueness, but the, the agility and the, the platform that it brings, uh, be it you know the assets we have or the spectrum that we have to grow, brings a lot of opportunity to us. But importantly, there's a lot of um, it's you know when you talk about being small, we can fit in quite nicely where others are perhaps tripping up. So. Today, what you're seeing in the industry, you hear about Starlink, you hear about the, the non-geo satellites. Mm -hmm. Those are absolutely there to stay, and they're going to play a role. But a lot of our, our sort of peers in the industry are now focusing to the new, uh, new generation. We still have capacity. So where we have that capacity, we can slot in. But they're not, probably not going to be building big geos. We can actually slot in quite nicely. And, and, and the demand, what we're seeing today, is that it's uh, picking up quite, quite nicely as well. And you have the agility to, to meet that demand right now, too, then. Right, absolutely. I think because we are a smaller company, we, we can meet that demand. We have a lot of you know, top-tier yeah, yeah. customers as well. We do you know, genuinely have a, a very good customer base. But the, the reality is, as the industry is changing, we can ride those changes for our benefit and for our customers' benefit to ensure that you know, we, we can grow our business, number one, with that growth, you know, we have good cash flows as it is, but we can generate further cash flow. That should allow us then to think about what next, you know, be that think about new generation of technology, new satellites. We actually play a very uh, important role in certain markets like the Philippines or Indonesia, two examples of many, where we are, again, because of our focus on certain areas, uh, allows us to really uh, think about how we can use that as a platform strategically to grow for us and for those nations as well. Yeah. So, Emmett, you have probably said the word grow or growth a half dozen times yeah. already in the conversation. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what that growth looks like for ABS Global? Look, I think today we have a, a good, let's say, runway for organic growth, you know, just using the capacity that we have. I mentioned the, uh, the demand out there is growing. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone wants more Mbps, more you know, more megahertz, whatever it is, more throughput. Mm -hmm. So that just places more demand on the industry as a whole. What we're seeing also is that you know there is a shift in focus towards newer generations, but we they still you know need to be what we call hybrid networks, mm -hmm. right? So we have geo working with Leo networks, and we're we're com complementing the geo elements of that. Now. In terms of growth, so organically is number one. And then from that, you know, we should be able to then think about where next. Um, again, I think we, the industry has changed slightly where, you know, we have to be a little bit more diligent about, mm -hmm. you know, where we invest money in the future. But certainly that platform and that organic growth will allow us to then think about how to use the assets. And again, spectrum is important in our industry. How to use those assets to then, 
you know, put something uh, which is, I guess, the next generation of ABS into, into space in, in the years to come. Yeah, you know, Emin, I would love to actually have this very conversation with you again, like a year from now, because I, I am absolutely sure there are big things um, in your future. Um, but uh, in closing, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about uh, Capacity Middle East? What do you think of the event so far? Well, the event's great. I mean, I think, you know, we've got a, a lot of our customers here, which is always good to see. Um, certainly yeah. a, a great event. And uh, it's been a few years since I've been here, so I'm glad to Same. be back yeah. as well. So, uh, look, it's, uh, it's great to bring everyone together again. You know, we don't want to talk about COVID too much, but to see real people. <laughs> It's always nice, and then you can yeah. talk to them about real things, and yeah. uh, that's always a nice thing to have, and thanks for thanks for arranging it. Yep. You bet. You bet, Emmett. Thanks for being here. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in. We'll see you soon.